private sector is the key to meeting our sustainable development goals. Our involvement in a transaction gives projects an additional credibility with host governments, private investors and lenders. We therefore help partners to structure bankable, environmentally sound, inclusive and transparent projects and to help catalyze a prosperous, inclusive and resilient as well as sustainable Asia and the Pacific. Three things that I would highlight that we are very focused on is number one is to focus more on upstream work uh, to provide the right capacity to develop more renewable energy projects. Uh, secondly is to focus on markets that uh, most commercial banks are not necessarily uh, ready to, to lend to uh, and specifically uh, what we call uh, fragile uh, affected states as well as small island developing states. So markets like Cambodia, uh, Pacific Islands like Tonga are our key focus areas. And last but not least, uh, there's a lot of focus on renewable energy, but uh, ADB's uh, job as well is to look at, at markets and sectors that other people are not looking at. So whether it's new technologies in renewable energy like hydrogen or waste to energy, um, and other, uh, other ways to fight climate change like electric mobility are, are areas that we are exploring in great detail. All across our regions, we are seeing renewed commitments from the governments to facilitate the private sector to play a far more vital role in addressing climate change. Now we at the ADB private sector are actually pushing the climate finance agenda in multiple ways in the region. And in terms of new sectors, we are seeing an increasing call for support uh, in relatively newer areas such as storage and electric mobility. Adherence to Paris alignment is increasingly going to assume center stage in our private sector infrastructure support in the region. We are actually using alignment with the Paris Agreement as an important part of our very initial screenings process. We do sincerely expect the topography of the energy sector in the region to dramatically change in the next five to ten years. Energy transition in various forms and manners has certainly picked up steam in this region. ADP's blended finance programs focus on finding new ways to unlock markets and we're ultimately aiming to increase the pace, scale and ambition of climate solutions. There's a lot of innovation and thinking on private sector climate solutions across Asia and the Pacific and we're grateful to be part of this. The global food system accounts for 34% of greenhouse gas emissions. At the same time, agriculture is the most affected sector by climate change. Climate change is affecting crop yields and is making small farmers more vulnerable. So, it is not a sector that can be ignored when talking about climate change. So far, about 30% of our agribusiness projects have had climate finance components. We plan to increase this proportion to 50% by 2025 and 75% by 2030. We plan to deploy up to $1 billion of climate finance investments over the decade to 2030. Working through financial institutions, ADB has provided long-term funding for green infrastructure projects and transfer. Financial institutions also provide ADB with a platform to reach a number of sectors and borrowers who may be too small to fund directly. We are also looking at ways to help small and medium-sized enterprises to decarbonize in South Asia. We also believe that women can be central to climate finance solutions. It's therefore critical to leverage their knowledge, capacities, and skills towards adapting and mitigating climate change. And we'll do so through a variety of different initiatives, including our very newest, the Women's Finance Exchange, which is partnering with financial institutions in the private sector to expand women's roles as economic movers and who can also enable client responsive innovations.
innovative private sector business models will play a powerful role in addressing Asia and the Pacific's climate-related development challenges. That is why Asian Development Bank established ADB Ventures. ADB Ventures helps promising early-stage innovators operating across our region scale up their impact in emerging markets. The solutions we invest in aim to conserve energy, reduce waste, shrink agriculture's carbon footprint, and make people, communities, and industries more resilient to the impacts of climate change. And the ADB Ventures is just getting started. Over the next several years, we will continue raising new funds from public sector and the private sector partners, employing a combination of early and growth stage equity, debt, and grant financing to support ADB's climate goals.